What's up guys, it's Fernand here. Um, the previous video, the little update video, I had a few comments on there saying what videos to do, and there was some pretty good ones actually. Um, this is where um, somebody put, um, he said something, over there, uh, Stotch, do a helicopter animation, so I thought, like how, how to do helicopter animation, so I thought, yeah, that's pretty nice tutorial to do. So as you can see, I've got the Model Fair 2, I think it is, Sparrow. Um, helicopter and what you, I've already set this out for animation and that but if you're sort of stuck with a solid model like this and you want to know how to animate it it's pretty simple um, let me just take that out there okay so you got your textures on and you just got your solid model what you want to do is make sure it's editable it probably would be what it would be you want to come to this little sort of um, icon here which you can select sort of faces of the shapes and which is what you want to do select only vi select visible elements and check that off so if you click that it will go through to the other side unless you just want to see uh, like click on what you can see like that which you won't do the other side so you just want to check that off and then what you want to do is just zoom in to where sort of the rotor will rotate. So uh, I'm just going to be a bit lazy. I'm just going to choose this bit. All right. So now I've got that bit. I'll just select the rest of this. I just want to select the whole rotor. Um, just do that. When, once you get used to it, it'll be a bit quicker in that. I'm tired as hell. I'll just come back. Like I went out. I, I uploaded this video in the morning, um, as I told you in the video, and then I went out. I've just come back and I'm recording this now. Thought I might as well start. So yeah, I've I've sort of selected this whole top rotor. Once you've done it, you want to right click, go to split, and you got two. All you want to do is just delete. The, um, the original one, you know, not that one, not the one which has sort of blue, it'll still be selected. Just delete that. Bollocks. Just like that. There we go, I've deleted it. Um, so, now we've got the rotor and the main model. All you want to do is, if you want to set that up for animating, which this is already actually done for me, you want to select this and start moving. Like this around into place, get it into the very center on the top, which mine already was, and also getting it sort of center here as well. That would be good. You can move it up a little bit high if you want to. Uh, making sure this one's also selected. And you just check off, and then there you go. That basically these parameters um, or axes should be in the center of this rotor. Um, and the reason we do this is because when you come to rotate it, it will rotate in that spot. So when you come to animate the rotor, it looks like it's spinning. And if you don't know, to make it spin, just click the keyframe down, move forward to about two seconds, 60 frames, and just spin that so many times. I do click, click, click keyframe, and it will be spinning. Same with the back one, you can do, you know, just select it, select the main model, select the sort of face area icon, making sure the visible elements is off, select it, right click, split, delete it from the original, and then you've got a separate one. Um, making sure that these axes are in the center, but um, you're going to have to do them a bit differently. Which I'm just gonna quickly show you. To be fair, um, I'll do it with this these ones. Yeah, so you drag that down to here, sort of in the center, and sort of in line with the rotor. That would be oh God. that would probably be alright. You can 
So yeah, I would, I would say that was about, that's really rough, but I would say that was about right. About there. And you just check off, and then you'll start spinning it at that point. But because this is the whole model, it's going to spin that. But you would or would have already cut that out. And, you know, you don't have, just have to animate the rotors. I mean, this hasn't really, this helicopter hasn't really got much to animate on it. But if you really wanted to, you can cut out these and start spinning them as well while making them shoot. Um, I haven't really done anything like that yet. Um, yeah, just anything on the helicopter that you can sort of animate, you can do. I mean, depending on what helicopter you've got. But I like this model, I haven't really used it yet. But I'll get time for that. So yeah, that is how you animate helicopters in that in Cinema 4D. Um, any questions, that just comment. I'll get back to you. I always do. I like answer everyone's questions. Please like and comment the video, and there'll be a few more tutorials out after this one. I've got a little list here. It's only like three at a minute. So I've done that one. I've got um, realistic 3D text on ground, which I'll do, and how to crack the floor, like a an effect which I used in like the droids montage that I done in that. So yeah, I look forward to them um, videos. Um, subscribe if you haven't, and um, check out the videos when they're up. Peace.